I'm Christian Staples with Arctic Spas. Back in 2011, Arctic Spas made a big switch with our electronics that gives our spas the ability to connect with the internet. Although the technology wasn't quite ready at the time, we gave the spa the hardware it needed to have the ability to hook up to the internet. And this means that if you have an Arctic Spa from 2011 or newer, you can easily hook your spa up to the internet just by installing a few easy components to enjoy remote control, remote monitoring, and over-the-air updates. You will need to purchase a few items that you can find at most hardware stores, or you can purchase the kit from our online store. Here's a list of what you will need. A Wi-Fi extender with an ethernet port, a 10-foot Cat5 Ethernet cable, a 10-foot two-prong extension cord, a USB drive, two female crimp connectors for 14 to 16 gauge wires, and two cable zip ties. You can usually find these common items at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart. If you purchase these parts separately, you also need a crimping tool and wire strippers. You can also order our pre-assembled kit at ArcticSpotStore.com with free shipping. Make sure you have an Allen wrench to gain access to the Arctic Spa doors, as well as a Phillips screwdriver for access to the spa pack. Once you have everything ready, follow these steps. First, you'll need to update the software in the spa. To do this, you'll need to get the software from arcticspasutah.com support. Download the latest version of the software into the USB drive. Make sure it is the only file on the drive, and then plug the USB drive into the port on the motherboard. The yellow and green lights above the USB port will start to flash. When they stop flashing and the green light turns solid, remove the USB drive. Turn the breaker off for 15 seconds and flip it back on again. And the top side control panel will read load. When the spa starts, then it is fully updated to the new software. Second, we'll need to get the Wi-Fi extender set up. You'll need to take the electrical cord, cut the male end off, separate the wires, strip back the insulation, and crimp the connectors. Then plug the extender into the extension cord and zip tie them together. Next, plug the Ethernet cable into the Wi-Fi extender. Mount the extender on the side of the spa that is closest to the Wi-Fi router for the best signal. Run the cords back to the motherboard, then turn off the power to the spa. Run the wires through the right side of the spa pack and into the motherboard. Plug one of the ends of the extension cord into the connector onto the row marked Neutral and the other onto the row marked Line 2. Then plug the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port on the right side of the motherboard. Lastly, turn the breaker back on to the spa. You can use an iPad or a laptop to set up your Wi-Fi extender. Each extender may have different steps, but the main goal is to connect it up to your home network. For this Netgear extender, you'll need to make sure that the power light is solid green. Then connect the Wi-Fi network of the device you're using, your laptop or an iPad, onto the Wi-Fi network of the Wi-Fi extender. The Wi-Fi network is usually something with the name of the extender of the model, in this case Netgear. Once your device is connected to that network, go to mywifiext.net. Then click on the new extender setup. From this point, it will guide you through the process. You'll find and select your home network, enter the password, and save the information. The extender will then reboot. Once this process is all completed, turn the breaker off to the spa and then back on again. This will reset everything with the spa. The next step is with registering your spa at myarcticspa.com. You'll want to create a new account by registering first. Make sure to choose your local Arctic Spa dealer as your dealer or choose Arctic Spas Utah Salt Lake to connect with us. Then confirm your registration through an email that will be sent to you. Lastly, you'll want to register the spa. To register a spa, you'll go to the Profile tab, then click on Register a New Arctic Spa under the Update My Preferences section. The next screen will bring up a search button. Click Search to make the spas available for registration. After clicking Search, your spa's top side control will display R-E-G-C-O-N-F. Pressing any button on the top side controller will confirm the registration and the spa will become available for registration. The next screen will give you the option to click to register. From there you'll be asked to enter a nickname. Just use your last name, then a comma, and your first name. If you have more than one spa, you can add an additional identifier like cabin spa to the end. The second field is for the serial number. Just enter the number portion such as 167582. Make sure this is your correct serial number though. You can find the serial number on the metal plate that is positioned between the two doors on one side of the spa. The serial number is on the top right hand side of this plate. Now you are connected. You can control the spa through the web browser or download the app for your phone. Having your Arctic Spa connected to the internet makes it easier for you to keep up to date by simply using the app on your smartphone or by going to your web browser. You'll be able to change settings, keep updated with new software upgrades, as well as be alerted if there's an error code or problem with your spa. We will also be able to remotely monitor your hot tub, which helps our team provide better service for you. So look no further than Arctic Spas for the convenience of a connected hot tub. Give us a call at 801-483-1001 or visit us online at arcticspasutah.com.